Shadow Tech is a cloud-based rental PC service that you can basically do whatever you want with. It's primarily a gaming PC, but it doesn't just have to be gaming. Now they pretty much dominate the industry when it comes to rental cloud PCs, at least in the gaming industry. So is it worth getting your hands on this to supplement or even replace your current PC? Well strap in, we'll go over all the details with Shadow Tech, but first, make sure you subscribe to keep up with everything cloud gaming. For the past several years, Shadow has made a name for themselves as the premier cloud PC rental service. Now this past year, Shadow, a company based in France, was just bought out by Jesby Ventures, who also owns OVH Cloud, which is one of the biggest cloud computing companies in the world. And this would also be part of the Hubic family. As they've been transitioning into full ownership of Shadow, is the company still the best company that provides a great cloud PC rental? Let's first do a quick overview of the Shadow service for those who don't know. Now imagine having access to a gaming PC through the cloud in which you can install and play any game or software that you want. Imagine having the ability to play this cloud PC on your phone, tablet, or old desktop PC that you still have from last decade. It's all possible to play some of the latest games on your Shadow PC. Note that I said some, but can it play Crisis? And we'll get into that later. Now if you already have your Shadow machine and you need help getting started with Shadow on one of these devices, feel free to check out our Shadow playlist for setup and install. Now that you have a general overview of Shadow, the question raised about the new owners is this. Has the Jesby Ventures acquisition been beneficial to Shadow? As of now, that's really up for debate. And if you've had Shadow for a while, I'm sure you just said no. Now let's do a quick rundown of their history since the acquisition. The first thing they did was cut all the upgraded tiers and made their base tier the only tier. On top of this, they doubled, that's right, doubled the price. What? Here's the old price model. And here's the new one. No! No! Now all joking aside, I can understand why they did this. Shadow went bankrupt because their price model was too low to begin with and they needed new investors. And to be honest, even if they lost half their customers, they would still be just about breaking even since most people were on the base tier. Plus, this would free up PCs for new customers so it could be looked at as a win in their book. So the next question is, has there been anything good to come out of this acquisition? Yes. As I mentioned, Shadow now shares infrastructure with OVH Cloud. Since our machine was migrated over from Chicago to their systems in New York, I feel the performance has increased even though New York is farther away than Chicago for us. Now it's not a massive increase, but it's noticeable, especially playing first person shooters. Now does the platform still perform well? Yep, nothing has really changed since the acquisition. The app to control your cloud PC is fantastic. It's probably one of the best ways to control your PC in the industry. They have an app for the Windows desktop, iOS, Android, Linux, Mac, you name it. All you have to do is log into your box and use it like any other Windows machine. Use the shadow icon at the top to get access to the control panel to see your connection stats and change your settings or ultimately end your connection. It's that easy. Now remember that this is still a Windows PC, so maintenance is required from time to time. This means NVIDIA drivers need to be updated. This also means that various Windows updates need to be downloaded and applied. It can get pretty bad if you don't use your Shadow PC all the time and forget to install updates over time. I had an update that lasted 30 minutes once because I didn't update my Shadow PC for a couple of months. Thankfully, they don't have a time-based billing system like Maximum Settings or Loudplay, where you get billed for how much time you're on the PC. Now, they did end up adding some upgrades to the service as they promised with the inclusion of dual screen support and 4x4x4 chroma subsampling color support. Now, I'm happy for those who were waiting for these upgrades, but to be honest, uh, these were nothing too amazing. Now, speaking of upgrades, it took them to the end of the year to give us an update on upgrades in their international news livestream. 
they stated that they don't have a definite plan for upgraded GPU tiers due to the pandemic, and they were hoping to have a solution by summer of 2022. But there are no definite dates in place. They also said that they might be switching to AMD hardware for the next tiers, just as Maximum Settings did. Hmm. Now please be advised that these plans are for new tiers, and not for the current Shadow tier. And get this. They have no plans on upgrading the current Shadow tier at this time. Why? Why? Now don't get mad at me, I'm just the messenger. I'm with you all the way. Now why are current Shadow users looking for hardware upgrades? Well, most Shadow users are using the NVIDIA P5000, which is a workstation GPU. You can compare the power of this to a GTX 1070 Ti or a GTX 1080. It's safe to say it's struggling to keep up with some of the latest games. We did a benchmark for Far Cry 6. In that video, I say that 40 to 50 FPS is optimal. OPTIMAL on Seattle right now. That's terrible. This has to change soon in order to keep up with the times and the games. Here's our full Shadow benchmark if you're interested. Now there's been a rumor that Jesby was planning to take the whole Shadow operation down. According to several articles on datacenterdynamics.com, Jesby has stated that their combined business will maintain gaming operations, at least for a while, but also plans to extend into broader remote computer services. It was also mentioned that gaming would appear to be no longer a focus of the relaunch company, although the service will be kept online for a while. So, is Shadow worth it heading into 2022? That's really up to you. Now if you ask me, if you don't have your Shadow machine already, I wouldn't bother until they announce official hardware upgrade plans. But if you must have a cloud PC, Shadow won't let you down if you're running older games and until you sign up and have to wait a month for activation i swear that's all the bad things i swear that's it that's it anyway hopefully they announce additional upgrades soon until then make sure to subscribe so you can get the latest news and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven cloud gaming battle